and welcome to my first try on haul of 2021. I knew I wanted to start the year off with a bang, so I decided to buy some cottage core dresses from House of CB. Now, if you have a few spare minutes to listen to a little story of mine, then stick around. If not, there's timestamps down below, but I basically just wanted to tell you about my past experiences with House of CB. Now, heads up, this video is not sponsored in any way. I have no affiliation with the brand. I'm just a regular customer. I bought these things myself. And uh, I have bought things from House of CB in the past, and I just wanted to tell you my experience and what I think of it before I open these boxes, which, by the way, are beautiful. This company always has like 10 out of 10 as far as packaging goes. I first heard about House of CB in 2016 because of an Instagram fashion blogger called Mika Gianelli. This is her Instagram here. She is a glorious human. She's just stunning. And she's got incredible taste in fashion. And she basically struts around the streets of Melbourne wearing glamorous ball gowns and her and her husband just photograph her looking like a supermodel. And I saw this incredible dress on her account one day and she had tagged House of CB as the brand. Now I'd never heard of it before, but I was so obsessed with the dress that I instantly wanted to buy it. So I went on their website, went to buy it, realized it was $300, also realized that it was being shipped from London and the shipping was $50. So there goes all my hopes and dreams of owning a glamorous ball gown, not that I was ever gonna wear it anywhere. So fast forward a couple of months, it's uh, the start of 2017. And I go to Maya in the CBD. Maya is a big department store here, like Nordstrom or like uh, Macy's or something. So I'm coming up the escalator, and when I start to get toward the top, a little sign just kind of like emerges, and it says, new at Maya, House of CB. I couldn't believe my eyes. So they had just started selling directly in Australia through Maya. Now I went running up to the rack, and when I actually got my hands on this clothing and felt the quality of it, I was like, ah. I see why it costs so much. It's really good clothing. I mean like really solid, super heavy, feels expensive, it is expensive, and it feels very, very expensive. So I saved up some money and I eventually went back to the store and I bought quite a few things. Not much of it was particularly practical. <laughs> I kept the things for like a year or so, never wore them, ended up selling them on eBay. And I actually sold them for only about $50 less than I paid for each one. So anyway, that brings us here today because I have found that yes, House of CB, their clothing is absolutely spectacular and glamorous and like, unless you have some really crazy formal occasion, like a, you know, like a prom or something to go to, a lot of their pieces I just can't really imagine wearing out in public, but that was then and this is now. So back then when I bought those things, they really only seemed to have like very extra super glam items, but now they have more casual clothing as well. Which brings us to the cottage core items. I have a lot of people contacting me all the time saying, Alex, I, I dress in cottage core. Can you do a cottage core haul? So for those of you that live the cottage core lifestyle, or for those of you that are interested in the fashion of cottage core, I think you're going to love these dresses that I've picked out. The dresses in today's video, a lot of them are like super viral dresses. They go viral on TikTok, they're viral on Instagram. They're absolutely stunning. And I was even able to find matching masks for almost all of the dresses, which is so exciting to me because I love wearing face masks in public and I really like the idea of matching your mask to your clothes. So I've got dresses and matching masks and I'm so excited to show you. So let's jump into it. So House of CB is luxurious all around, like from their clothing to their packaging, it's so nice. They send things in these beautiful gift boxes if you want, or otherwise you can opt for sustainable packaging. I went for the gift box because I wanted to show you guys what it's like. I think it's such a shame to throw out nice packaging, so I'm gonna use these to store paperwork in, in my office. So there's this little card here. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is my invoice. Okay, so they put my invoice in this nice sort of pouch and each thing looks like it's wrapped individually. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my God. God, this is like the weight of four dresses. So each piece always comes with this uh, sort of band here. Do not remove unless satisfied with the fit. Returns will not be accepted if this tag is removed or tampered with. Oh, I'm so excited to try this on. Okay, I'm gonna take everything out of the boxes and hang it all up behind me, which might be a little bit difficult with this one because this actually has tie-up sleeves. How am I gonna do this? Do you guys have any tips about things that you tie up for the sleeves? Like, often when I put them on, I, I push it on and then I try to tie it up while it's on me. But do you normally like lay it down somewhere and tie it up and then put it on? Whoa. This one feels a lot more stiff than that one. Wow, oh, this is the viral one. 
This is, I literally saw a girl buy this on TikTok the other day. Her TikTok had 4 million views and like 20,000 comments. And she didn't even show herself wearing it. She was like her with a green screen behind her and she was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just thinking about 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 it. And then it's like added to cart, purchased successful and she's like, I did it. But then she didn't even show the dress and it had 4 million views. Could I please have 4 million views on this video, please? This one feels incredible. Okay, this one feels the nicest out of all of them. So, everything's here behind me, and uh, before I get into it, I'm really sorry to do this to you. I know you're all screaming at me. We're gonna take a brief intermission because I've been looking at myself in the viewfinder of this camera thinking, God, I hate the look of my hair. I need to put some color back into it. So if you watched my hair dye video with Sam that I uploaded recently, we used this Korean hair dye called Hello Bubble, which is like a K-pop, represented Korean hair brand and I bought a different shade off Yes Style. So I grabbed this one. So the shade that we used on Sam was like a really rich kind of pinky red but this one this is called Rose Gold and it looks like a really nice sort of apricot kind of color. I hope that it washes out easily because I don't necessarily want to commit to this color long term but I was so impressed when I used it on Sam's hair that I just I knew I had to use it on my own. So this little color chart here shows what the outcome should be if you have dark hair, but obviously mine's bleach blonde, so hopefully it's even lighter than this. So I'm gonna go do my hair, and then I'm gonna come back and try on this beautiful clothing. How incredible does that look back there? Oh my god. I'm back. Well, uh, my hair isn't exactly the orange apricot-y kind of tone that it showed on the box. I'm not mad, just disappointed. But nevertheless, this video is about the House of CB dresses and not about my hair. So let's start off the try on with this dress. So this dress is called the Alicia and I got it in a size small. Now I typically wear an Australian size six, which in most size charts converts to an extra small but I'm really glad I didn't get an extra small because this is actually quite tight around my waist. This dress is 200 Australian dollars and right off the bat I want to say it's worth every single cent. It's quite literally one of the nicest dresses I've ever bought and I'm not saying that for any ulterior motive other than I think you should buy it. No matter how you wear it, it's going to look nice regardless of whether you've got the bows here or the bows at the back or you could even make a halter neck, I'm sure. Actually, let me let me give, let me give that a try. All right, so, oh my God, I am so pale that this dress is disappearing into my skin. I wish my husband was home, but my plan is basically get all of this done while he's at work and then when he gets back, I'm gonna be wearing one of these nice dresses laying sideways on the couch and I'm gonna tell him to paint me like one of his French girls. No, not really, we're going out for dinner. <laughs> so obviously I am quite flat chested, but doesn't matter so much in this dress. It's got a really nice shape here where the cups would normally sit. I'm not wearing a bra underneath this, but I feel like regardless of your chest size, you can pull this dress off. Whether you're flat chested, whether you're gifted in this department, it's gonna look beautiful on any body shape because any sort of dress that cinches in around here, it creates the illusion of an hourglass figure and I absolutely love it, it's so beautiful. Also, it's got this really nice slit in the leg. The slit is a really good height, it's not too high, I'm not worried about walking and maybe flashing anyone, it's at a really good height. The dress itself is also a really nice length. The skirt is so full, look at the way that it moves. And also it's got a double layer. So the dress has the top layer, which is the patterned layer. And then it's also got an inner layer, which is just a buttercup yellow color. So it's really, really heavy, a very full skirt. I'm in love. This is actually better than I thought it was. Based on what I saw on the website, I was like, that's a pretty dress. But now that I'm actually wearing it, I like it a hundred times more than I could have ever hoped that I would. And uh, I'm gonna take off the security tag. So this one's a keeper. The dress also has boning through the entire waist area and around the back too. So it holds its shape really nicely. All right, so this next one is the four million views dress. This is the one that the girl showed on TikTok saying that she was thinking about buying it. Everyone in the comments of that video 
was screaming and they were all asking, where do I get that dress? What's it called? This is called the Tallulah dress and it's 260 Australian dollars. Now, as far as quality goes, I actually think that this first one is nicer material. It's really soft beautiful material. This one is a little bit uncomfortable. The material is kind of crepey and also the unusual thing about these sleeves, see how they're sticking up so well, see how they're holding their shape. Well that's because they've got some strange sort of tool, 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 meshy stuff on the inside. It's very unusual and at first when I saw it I thought oh is that supposed to be worn outwards? you know, like sticking up like that, like fairy wings. But no, I, d I don't believe so. <laughs> All I can think is, uh, you know how people put spiky things up on gutters to stop birds from landing on them? I, I feel like this is Archie proof. This stops Archie from landing on my shoulder. It spikes his little feet. But I, I don't think that it's supposed to be visible. I think that it's actually just supposed to be tucked in underneath to give the sleeves volume. But the unfortunate thing about that is it's quite itchy. If you have sensitive skin, I don't think you'd be able to put up with the itchiness on your shoulders. Obviously you can cut the tool out. I think it would be pretty easy to just unpick it, but then the sleeves won't have the same volume. So that's a little bit of a dilemma for me, not something that I saw anyone mention online. All the times that I saw this dress going viral, I never saw anyone talk about that. So I don't know, maybe it's not a big deal to other people, but it's just a little bit itchy for me. But the length of this one, it's ever so slightly longer than the first one that I tried on. The skirt on this one is the same as the first one where it's got the patterned layer as one layer and then it's got a light buttercup yellow on the inside of it. Obviously the model is uh, more gifted up here than I am so you can see it on two different body shapes. She looks incredible and I'm not gonna say I look incredible but I feel incredible. <laughs> this again has boning through the waist area. It's running straight down here it's also on the side here, and there's also two on the back. I'm definitely gonna wear this one to dinner tonight. I mean, I haven't tried on the others, but I've already sold. I know I wanna wear this for one reason and one reason only, which is I got the matching face mask. So the set of three masks was $60, which obviously $20 per face mask is probably a lot, especially if you're like me and you've been using disposable ones. Like I think that I bought a pack of a hundred face masks for five dollars online and they've they've been getting me through the past year so to pay twenty dollars for one feels like a little bit much but also that being said the fact that it's the same exact matching fabric and also it's uh, got wire on the inside so that it shapes around your nose a lot of the time when you buy these fabric masks it's just a piece of fabric and it'll leave big uh, sort of pockets around here but this actually has a piece of wire in here so look I can shape it around my nose like that I do kind of wish it was a little bit bigger. I like my face masks to go underneath my chin and then stop about here. This one, if I try to stop it just here where I like to, it's sort of showing my chin a little, not too much, just a little bit. It's not quite right. I just wish it was like a centimetre more fabric and it would be the perfect mask. I would be so happy. It's not too tight. These are elastic on the ears here and it's a nice thick elastic too. And because I have a matching mask and dress, I'm gonna wear this out to dinner tonight. I literally feel a million dollars. I could not be happier right now. I'm like overjoyed. The puffy sleeves, the cinched in waist, the whoop like this. Oh, it just feels incredible. I look so good. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I need to cut this thing off. Definitely not changing my mind about this one. All right, so this one is called the Lauren dress. This is also $260, so same price as the other one. I don't like this anywhere near as much as that dress. There's just something not quite right on my body shape about this upper area here. This is very small and very kind of pinched. It's like, this slit is a lot lower than the others. The others sort of stopped about here. This one's quite low. So walking, you wouldn't actually know that there was a slit in this because it's quite off to the side and you kind of have to pull it. So this is the sort of thing where if you want to take pretty pictures, you kind of have to maybe tuck it up like that. Oh, yes. Again, because it's got this nice waistline with the boning in it, it's just creating such a flattering silhouette. It's exaggerating my hips. This, a little bit seductive. Is it worth $260 though? Mm. I'm gonna say yes because again, it feels like it's made really, really, really well. This is similar fabric to the first one. Still not quite as soft as the first one, but similar. Multi-layered, again, it's got the floral layer on the outside, it's got a pastel pink soft layer on the inside, 
and also, as you can see, the floral layer actually has white on the back. So it's floral on the front, white on the back, and then you've also got the pink. So it's very, very thick. You can't see the color of your undies, you can wear whatever you want underneath. But my only concern is for people that are bigger in the chest, I almost worry that there's just not enough fabric here to support you. That it, it's just so minuscule. <laughs> I don't quite understand. I don't know, maybe if I'd ordered like a size 12, for example, maybe the size 12 has more fabric here, but obviously then it wouldn't fit me. So, I don't know, just tell me what you guys think. Like, look at the model. She's quite big here, and it looks like it's sitting very nicely on her. So I don't know why it's so little on me, because it, it, there's no more fabric. It's not like it's stretching over her boobs. Like, there's not that much fabric, so unusual. It's really cute how it comes down into this little point here. It's very, very sweet. All of this through here also has boning. So you don't have to worry about this falling down. There's like boning just there, keeping it up. So this, again, the attention to detail in these dresses, it's amazing and I definitely see why they're the price that they are. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a mask on their website that would match this pattern. Obviously, this is a really sweet pastel pink with yellow flowers, pink flowers and purple flowers. And the closest I was able to get was the same flowers, but on a white mask. I wish that there was a pink mask. Does that look okay? I'm not sure. I don't know if I like this or not. I don't know if it matches quite well enough. God, House of CB, please make this design into a mask. Please, I will buy it straight away. They've been sewn in such a way that they actually sort of shape around the eye. You know, sometimes the masks are like flat at the top and flat at the bottom and they don't sit right, but this has actually been made slightly higher where the bridge of your nose is, and then it dips down around your eyes. It's a really comfortable mask. Oh, okay. Um, I'm happy. I'm not overjoyed about this dress, but I'm happy enough to keep it. This one, yep, security tag's got the snip. All right, next up we have the first and only short dress of the video. So this one is called the Aria dress, and it's 160 Australian dollars. The cheapest one so far, obviously less fabric. This one also has those same uh, chul pieces in the sleeves to help puff them out a little bit. My first concern with this right off the bat is that around here there's no boning and it's folding in on itself, which looks a little bit awkward. I feel like maybe I might need to wear a strapless bra or something underneath this just to have something that this can kind of mold around. Because I'm so flat chested, it's got nothing to kind of help it hold its shape. So it's just kind of not sitting right at the top. But aside from that, this also has the boning. All of these have boning under the bust, which is, I, d I love that every single dress had it. It's such a nice added detail and it really helps these to fit and just take them to the next level. This has little buttons running all the way down. They are fake buttons. If you unbutton them, nothing happens. The, this doesn't open. Oh, does it? No, it doesn't open up. It, I thought for a second there when I put my finger in, you can actually put your finger right in, but it's all sewn on the inside. So the buttons aren't going to pop open. The amount of times I've bought dresses like this with buttons from top to bottom and I've had them pop open in very awkward situations in public. So you don't have to worry about that happening. You get the same vibe and none of the danger that comes with it. This looks lovely from all angles, no matter how you stand. It looks so pretty, so elegant. The shade of blue is perfect and matching face mask. Even the straps of this face mask are pink. And also I've just noticed that there is like a little pocket here on the face mask. So maybe if you wanted to put like a, a waterproof mask or something on the inside, maybe that's what that's for. I'm loving it with my current hair because there's these teeny tiny little pink flowers in the mask and obviously the pink hair. Oh, it all comes together so well. Oh. I feel like a fairy. This dress also is layered. We have the top layer being this one, which is the one that the... F oh, wait, have I been lying to you? Ah, oh, they're not fake buttons. They're real buttons. But because there's a layer underneath, ah, oh, clever. But also like, why? They don't need to be real. They don't need to undo because you wouldn't undo it to show the petticoat underneath. Anyway, I can't wait to wear this combination out somewhere. I'm obsessed. And for $160, this dress, I cannot, cannot recommend it highly enough. It is so, so nice. Oh my God. Another one I'm keeping. Sorry, can I just get like an, oh my God, in the chat, please. Not that there's a live chat. Can you just like leave a comment down below and say, oh my God. Wait, stop, stop right there. 
I know you're thinking of adding this dress to your cart, but Alex from the future is here to tell you, I wore it out to lunch with my parents and within about 10 minutes of wearing it, I was in so much pain. The straps in this spot here, they are so tight. I don't have particularly big arms or very big shoulders, but that elastic around here was so painful. It was cutting off the circulation and every like five minutes while I was at lunch, I was having to go like this and I was having to pull on the sleeves to give myself some breathing room. My arms were like going blue. And when I got home and I took the dress off, I had these enormous red marks all across my shoulders. I have actually worn every other dress out. I've worn all of them in public and that's the only one that I had this problem with. So you might wanna consider that before you proceed with buying that dress. And finally, we have a dress that I really wasn't so sure about. I kept adding this to my cart and then removing it and adding it and removing it. This one is called the Elodie Maxi Dress and it's 140 Australian dollars. I think it may have been on sale because that's the cheapest one out of all of them. And it's also the longest. So I wasn't sure about this one because obviously what I really liked about these was that they were tight around here, but then they flared out. Whereas this one, this is tight all the way, which I never feel comfortable wearing dresses like that. This is the only dress so far to not have any boning through the waist area. And it's also an unusual fit because it feels quite baggy around my waist, but then it's quite tight around my hips. These two share the same floral print. Obviously very, very different design. We have this kind of loose drapey boat neck. I wouldn't actually classify this as cottage core, I don't think. I think all of those could pass off as cottage core style. This one, just because it's florally, I don't get cottage core vibes from this. It's definitely the most formal dress. I feel like I would be a little bit limited as to where I could wear this. I feel like this would have to be quite a formal occasion for me to want to wear this one. Maxi dresses are always kind of like a statement piece and I don't know, is it a little bit too much? It is really, really pretty. Looking at the model, I feel like she must be a fair bit taller than me because there's, it doesn't seem to go all the way to the ground on her or maybe it's just the shoes that she's wearing. If I wore high heels, this would still touch the ground, which I really like. Part of what I didn't like about this dress and part of the reason that I wasn't going to buy it was actually that picture of the model because when I looked at her, I was like, oh, it's pretty, and then I got to like her feet area and I thought, mm, awkward. I didn't like that it didn't cover her shoes, but luckily my height, this actually works out well. I'm standing on my tippy toes right now and you can't see. And this is about the height if I put on a pair of high heels that my heels would make the dress sit at. So this would just, just miss the ground. So it wouldn't get dirty, but it covers my shoes, which takes some of the stress off what sort of shoes that I wear. And also how many band-aids I have all over my toes. I won't feel so awkward about that because you won't be able to see it. I actually think this one for me has stolen the show as far as my dinner dress goes. I really, oh, I wanted to wear the yellow one because I have the matching mask, but this is so nice and we're going to a super fancy restaurant. So I feel like this actually will probably be my best option for what to wear tonight. But I don't have the matching mask. Damn you, House of CB. Why do you do this to me? Why do you make a beautiful pink floral pattern and not make a matching mask? Hmm? Well, I have three options. White mask, pink and purple flowers. Okay, I'm not mad. It's not bad because the flowers on this mask are the same flowers on here. See, the flowers on this mask, this is like a super florally kind of pattern. It's a completely different floral pattern to what's on the dress. The yellow does look quite nice with the pink though. I do like it, but I feel like the white was better. The blue mask is the same floral pattern as the yellow one. Mm, no, I don't like this one. I feel like that kind of clashes too much because the blue is too bright. I think it's gotta be the white. Oh my God, this is a hard decision. I don't know if I can commit to this. I don't know, I don't know if I should wear this one or this one. Ugh! Oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, I've been so distracted about going out to dinner. Sorry, I haven't finished reviewing the dress. Again, it's got a double layer. It's got a nice floral pattern and then white and then a really thick, very, very thick underlayer, like super thick. This is, oh, it's just so good. It, it's so nicely made. I actually feel like out of all the years I've been making clothing videos, I think aside from that video I did about the iconic where I reviewed like designer clothing, this is without a doubt 110% the best quality out of any, any store that I've bought stuff from. It's just 
so nice. And the good thing about it is you're not going to be disappointed. You know, like if you spend $200, $300 on a dress from this store, you're not going to receive it and be like, oh, I can't believe I paid that much money for this. This is crap. You're going to be like, oh my God, this should have cost more. This is glorious. It should have cost more. So with that, let's do our final snip. That's it guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me on my first clothing haul of 2021. I hope you liked it. What stores do you want me to review this year? Tell me what sort of viral clothing that you want me to review to let you guys know whether I think it's worth it or not. Heads up, I bought the strawberry dress. I have a video coming soon. It's not what you would expect unfortunately but anyway if you want to keep an eye out for that video please subscribe if you haven't already give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it i think that my next clothing haul will be a dark academia haul because the one that i did last year was so successful that i feel like i need to do another one and also if you want to see another cottage core haul please leave the comments down below and tell me either put together some outfits that you want me to purchase that are cottage core style or tell me some websites that you want me to buy cottage core clothing from so with that Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!